All right, uh, Sanjeev Haseen is also joining us this morning uh, to talk more about markets. Sanjeev, Merry Christmas to you. I, I heard that, uh, you know, Delhi highways going out into all these uh, hill stations are badly jammed. Delhi was having a great time Christmas. In fact, M Mr. Modi also hosted a massive Christmas party. How was the Delhi, uh, you know, scene as far as Christmas is concerned? Yeah, good morning, Ajay. Merry Christmas to you, your viewers, your whole team. And who could have asked for a brighter and a brighter Christmas? You've had Nifty celebrate Christmas, New Year, everything in advance. So, yes, the, the, you know, the atmosphere is very good. In Delhi, you've had a slew of weddings. I mean, I've attended four weddings in the last three days. And uh, the, the festive cheer is really there. So, like you rightly pointed out, uh, you know, I used to keep telling people that pan-India, the rotation of traffic is so high that people want to go get away from cities into smaller places, hill stations. That's why GM, uh, your uh, IRB infra will be laughing his way because he has 24,000 kilometers of roads. And you've seen NHAI and fast track become a compulsory, uh, you know, compulsion. So, yes, uh, it's a very, very bon homey time. Uh, hotels, transport, entertainment are having their best time. And uh, nobody is complaining because the stock market is also at an all-time high. And the global cheer is there. You know, you never expected that the Fed will turn pivot so fast. Now there are talks of three rate cuts. Uh, so, so enjoy the Bonhomi as it goes. We head into a new year on a very, very optimistic note, Ajay. Okay, and uh, hope uh, Santa is going to give you a super gift, uh, Sanjeev, uh, this, uh, this uh, festive season. So why don't you play Santa Claus for our viewers and for our uh, investors out there and recommend some amazing gifts? <laughs> <laughs> well, Avan, we are always recommending something or the other for you to make money. The idea is stay invested. I'll just give you a small anecdote. People talk of trading, buying and selling. For the common investor, the best way is go through a SIP, do a mutual fund, do a PMS, do a, you know, whichever category, but please stay invested. There will be a rotation of stocks. The problem is when you do a trading pick and you do get that 20, 30% pot, you try to sell out and sit out cash, you do not rotate. And then when the markets go higher, you get into X, Y, Z. So the, the feeling of missed out is because of that. And particularly on the FI side, who withdrew, withdrew money on the back of higher bond yield and so on. So my humble suggestion is stay invested. The volatility will be there. You are at new highs and you saw that last week also play out. So my top pick, two picks which I will give you for this week and for the 2024. First would be, or rather three picks. First would be uh, Ashok Leland. See, I'm very bullish on Ashok Leland given that it is eating into market share on the CV side for uh, from Tata Motors. It is the third largest bus maker in the world, 53% market share. And as you saw, see Indigo and GMR prosper, all the blue buses are Ashok Leland. Thirdly, their uh, internal combustion, uh, you know, communication source of IC, those is doing extremely well. They are also in the EV space quite rapidly. Ashok Leland at 170 has a very good risk reward for a target of 230 to 250. Second would be go with the largest bank, that is ICICI Bank. Unquestionably, it has all the verticals within it. The NIMS are the highest. Uh, the liability side is doing extremely well. And I would say that ICICI from here is poised to do uh, be a large gap which will dominate, you know, which has underperformed maybe in the last six months, but which can outperform. 1250 is my target on ICICI. And last but not least, a small bank called DCB Bank. DCB is promoted by the Aga Khan Foundation. It trades at 0.9 time price to book at a time when PSU banks are now trading at two and a half time. DCB also is the largest player in uh, two-wheeler, in agri and in gold loans. The promoters have just uh, issued a preferential allotment at 137 at a premium, the highest rate which is there of about 80 crore. And they are infusing capital. I think DCB is a no-brainer here given that the way it is transcending and it's now, you know, expanded its branches for which the cost overrun was there. I think NIMS and uh, net interest uh, margins and net interest income will be very sharp. DCB Bank, according to me, is a star for 2024. I wouldn't be surprised if 200 and beyond come on this stock. 